Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today guys, we are currently back out here at the lodge today. Currently sitting in a brand new build that I've just gone ahead and completed. Now this thing is nice. By far one of my best builds uh, for new vehicles that is, alright. Today, we're sitting in 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Alrighty guys, this here has a huge Duramax under the hood and a huge lift kit under the frame here because this this thing is massive so i've been making some more money recently and i went with an any level lift kit all right with some fancy real big 26 inch american forces all right but i didn't put them on that wide of tires i mean they do stick out pretty far because of the beefy axles i got on this thing i mean i got some gnarly axles on uh this super cool any level lift kit custom four link it's really cool all right now this thing here is, is pretty insane got all done up nice hood stacked got some snow on it after after the light snow we had yesterday but i tell you what from the snow we got last week i mean you guys can tell we're in for a good one all right now we're gonna go off-roading today in the 2021 silverado it should be fun all right with all this snow i mean let me know down below in the comments first if you guys think this thing will get stuck right off the bat because that is definitely a possibility all right let's uh just turn off four-wheel drive first and see how bad we spin getting out of the driveway i've had it warming up for about 10 minutes i don't know it's like negative 15 out right now all right yeah we're spinning oh yeah we can get this thing spinning now let's try it with four-wheel drive okay yeah yeah we can get through some some hefty snow because this this snow here isn't really deep but you know it's uh it's not that light of snow either all right now do i want to hit this trail or go this way i don't know let's go let's do it let's go the harder trail let's go this way out of the driveway we're in for a good one and we're already having a hard time low gear will probably become our friend by the end of this forgot to show you guys the best part look at that 10 inches or no 12 inches actually right here is a six inch lift which is probably more like a 10 i mean this isn't your average six inch lift kit uh but yes right now on the any level thing got the little device in the cab here it says i'm sitting at a six inch lift right now and then this will lift us up to 12 probably don't want to use this you know we probably don't we're gonna just let it sit at, at six you know because i don't I don't want to tip over, you know. This thing costs a lot of money. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, tow mirrors are coming next because uh, I'm not a big fan of these mirrors. It, it definitely needs tow mirrors. Um, so far, I'm not a big fan of this, uh, you know, what these tires are doing. But, you know, this is trying to go wheeling in the mountains in a SEMA truck, you know. I could go take out a little beater right now that I built in my garage for not even the price of this truck or not even the price of this lift kit and it would do way better than this you know but this this truck is for for shows i didn't really expect it to do too wonderful while off-roading but i figured it'd make for a fun video so that's why we're out doing it you know just wherever the truck will fit we're, we're gonna put it there you know we're gonna get it but our winch may become our best friend here soon i don't know it can still run over some tiny trees and stuff there we go all right now i'm liking a little bit more Ooh, hit that tree right there. I'm not too happy about that. Um, I guess we'll go up over this way. I didn't even need to just go around that tree. I thought I'd continue up on over that way. Come on, Seema. Do it. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We may need to use our winch on this little hill here. But I got it equipped with a good winch, so don't worry. I think the tires would make all the difference. I mean, I just went with some tiny little all-terrains. Now, I'm not liking how this is looking right now. Ooh, that about broke a tie rod. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking, liking how this is looking right now. Let me just scout out the area. I don't know how much farther I can go right here, you know. This type of uh, off-roading, you know, there's not a specific trail. Just kind of wherever the truck can fit. And I'm in the wrong vehicle for this, you know. There's another trail up the road a little bit. I probably should have taken with this vehicle but this this trail can be really fun or you know just doing what i'm doing right now there's no specific trail just going wherever would be really fun if uh if it had better tires you know if i was in a different truck because i don't really feel good doing this but hey you know whistling diesel will destroy vehicles nicer than this one let's let's just go for it come on now this thing isn't that special slow come on 2021 silverado we can do it 
And I haven't really done much engine work to this thing. Keep in mind. Oh, come on. I'm winching the way out of this. I mean, we're not getting stuck, but this thing is just slow. I think... I think I should go switch the tires before we go any farther. I mean, this thing has some good potential, you know? It really does, but I need better tires, so so I'm going to head back. It's going to be a long journey back. I'm going to head back. I'm going to start in reverse and turn around down here. I'm going to make my way back to the shop, and I got some tires I can take off of my Tahoe. I'll take the tires off the Tahoe, put it on put it on this. Oh, no, hold on. This, is, this would make for a good video. You know, off-roading in a SEMA truck is one thing. But off-roading in a SEMA truck with monster truck tires on it, or also known as just huge tractor tires, I think I might have to do that, because I'm curious how those would perform on this thing. So I'm going to work my way back to the shop, and I'll catch you guys in just a moment to once I get the tires swapped. We got our monster truck. Well, looking like a monster truck now. Ooh, that sounds good. That Duramax right there. Well, safe to say, probably not getting stuck anytime soon. Let's just go for it. Let's see... See how we do. Not much of a turning radius. But look at these massive tires. Oh, now we're sitting up way higher. Also, if you guys didn't already know, I extended my the lift. Got it all cranked up 12 inches. Oh my, yeah, this thing isn't getting stuck. I mean, we've pretty much already made it to the point that we were last time in like a couple seconds. All right, we're going to go this way now. Uh-oh, come on. At least I got a winch that'll work while the truck's off. Because I got to pull this big old thing over. There we go. All right. Well, now we're back on over. Hold on, let me just stay attached to something while I'm reversing. Oh, never mind. We'll be all right. All right, let's cut through here. Come on. No flipping this time. There we are. All right. Time to take. Well, you know, not. This is the 2021 version of Duramax, or not Duramax. It is Duramax Monster Max. Whoa. We gotta find a. How is that tree big enough? There we go. All right, that works. That works. All right. I'm gonna winch myself over somehow. Looking like a squatted truck owner right now, looking up at the sky, you know? There I go, pull myself down. This is actually pretty fun, you know? We got the built Duramax out here, we got Monster Max V2, you know, not actually Monster Max 2, but we got we got the 2021 version of Monster Max here. I mean, this thing is not small. It's actually quite large. We're going in first person for right now. Oh, well, actually, I need to see where I'm going for a second. All right, we'll go this way. Whoa! Yeah, this thing is, is, is just insane. By far one of my best vehicles. This off-roading experience is, is a lot better than the stock little tires I had for the, you know, overall SEMA build. But hey, we've had the truck jacked up to its full potential. A whole 12 inches. Whoa! I mean, it's more than 12 inches. Like, probably 24 right now because of the tires. It's sitting pretty tall. But yeah, we got it jacked up the whole time. And we've only flipped a couple different times. Come on. Let's just... Oh! I mean, now this one... It's going to be a little bit hard to get out of. Now we're going to flip myself over here. There we go. That's a big enough tree. Come on now. Oh, maybe. Hold on. How about this tree? Hmm. Didn't really do what I expected. Hold on. There we go. Let's lower down the suspension a little bit. Man, we are completely flipped over. I don't like this. Maybe I can drag myself out using this tree. Yeah, okay. All right. There we go. Now we're going to use that tree and this tree. Yep. And almost there. There we go. All right. Time to fire up. Fire on up the old Duramax here. This thing is insane. I just want to get a little bit farther down the trail without flipping again. There we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I wonder how in rear wheel drive. I, I just, I'm just curious with these tires. Come on now. We're going to just do rear wheel drive. Ah, come on. We have to do all wheel drive for right now. Now, rear wheel drive. Yeah, it's definitely slower. We're making the big uh, tractor tires spin, but not much slower. All right, I think think we've made it. Made it to the end of the trail. I don't know. Should we take it for a swim? Just see how. Just give it a feel for the water, you know, or just get yeah, feel for the water. See how deep it is. All right, it can't be that deep right here. Oh, maybe it is. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is a little bit deep, and it doesn't float. This does not float. Yeah, well, I'd say that's wrap. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. We made it the entire trail. Uh oh, the ship is. Well, never mind. The ship was going down, but now it's back on top. So. That's going to wrap it up for today's video and the 2021 Duramax, Monster Max, whatever you guys want to call it. This thing is insane for a console-friendly mod. This thing is crazy. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, leave a like, obviously. And subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And also turn on those post notifications to stay up to date. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.